प्रणाम टू एवरीवन इन द सटल प्रेजेंस ऑफ परम पूज गुरुदेव परम वंदनीय माता जी लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द रेसिटेशन ऑफ द गायत्री मंत्र गायत्री व्हिच इज द फोर मोस्ट पिलर ऑफ द इंडियन कल्चर इन इंडियन ट्रेडिशन शी गाइड्स अस टू द राइटियस पाथ इन द वैदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स इट हैज बीन डिफाइंड दैट द पाथ ऑफ द गायत्री इज द पाथ ऑफ सन्मार्ग path of sadbhav path of satkarma and uh, this piece of vedic mantra that comes in rigveda and other vedic scriptures uh, is the foundation through which we could be connected to that supreme soul through that uh, uh, through this mantra we could be connected to that divine consciousness so let us recite the gayatri mantra together om bo distinguished speakers who are present in today's occasion this uh, program that is being conducted by the all world gayatri parivars bangalore branch on the augadhe sanskar one pd concept which has been one of the most important uh, arena taken by the gayatri parivar in recent times so on this occasion present all the speakers all the uh, audiences all my brothers and sisters and dear friends the opportunity that we have got today of listening to various speakers on this uh, important aspect where uh, we are talking about how one person could be embellished into being a a decent individual has been in the center of the vedic culture vedic tradition and the vedic parampara for very long period of time the concept had been there that we are born without any kind of uh, culture we are born without any kind of embellishment and this human life is the possibility in which we could be uh, we could be uh, reaching to the ultimate uh, pinnacle of human consciousness in reality the evolution that is taking place is inside the human beings on one end we have got a possibility a possibility of decline that we could decline so much that um, a human body is only there but the animalistic tendencies are taking the control of that personality but on the other end the same human being have got the possibility of reaching to the height of human consciousness uh, reaching the height of a rishi or a muni or a sant or a mahatma could reach and in between uh, a chance of turning our life into animalistic tendencies and primal pursuit or reaching to the height of human consciousness we are somewhere in between one way we can become pashu another way we can become parmatma and in between this uh, dwandva conflict is taking place that is sometimes pulling us to the path of uh, like you know demonic tendency or sometimes it is pulling us towards the divine objective and divine aspiration both possibilities are there and gurudev called that manushya mein devatva ka udaya dharti par swarg ka utaran he said that if we are able to turn our divine possibility into a reality if we are able to uh, convert this uh, divine potential into uh, a real kind of uh, adventure then it is possible for one to live the same human life but with fulfilling possibilities and this uh, concept had been there in the indian tradition for very long period of time where even before the birth the mother and father the parents the would be parents they used to try to actually give those kind of sanskar those kind of values those kind of virtues where the forthcoming child could be born with uh, such possibility there comes a very beautiful story in the in the puran and it's a story of uh, a king called gadhik and his daughter's name was satyavati who was married to a rishi called ruchi uh, coincidence was that both like you know the mother and daughter they both actually became pregnant at the same time so king said to 
the daughter satyavati he said that why don't you ask your husband who is a rishi to put the mantra into the charu and if he would do it then the offspring would be a divine one so he, she asked and he said okay i will do it so he he used the mantra to flow inside the charu for both wife and the mother in law the both for some reason thought that maybe the other person got the best one so they exchanged and they exchanged and then did not tell the rishi three months later when they informed rishi rishi laughed he said oh you don't understand the concept he said this is not only a sanskar that we do as the garba dhan sanskar or garbhotsav or punsvan sanskar he said in in this sanskar we are passing that kind of divine mantra inside the baby so that he could be born or she could be born with the qualities that we want them to be born so he said the baby that is supposed to come into the lineage of the king i passed raj dharma into that child so that he would be born as a kshatri as a king and another one who was coming in my family i passed the mantra of uh, rishi so that he would be born as a as a like you know rishi tyaga parikrah but now because you did it uh, the result would be the same so what happened the baby born into the family of uh, king was vishwarath became vishwamitra gave the gayatri mantra born in the family of of the king but became a rishi later on and the one who was born in the family of uh, rishi uh, rishi's uh, grandson rather he was called parashuram born in the family of rishi but became like a king he went on the war and he went on to like you know uh, this path of annihilation so this is this is the like you know the basis of the vedic parampara which allows one to take the path of embellishment if done properly and uh, we are indebted to param puja gurudev's contribution or his guidance in this respect who not only revived the indian sanskar parampara tradition but also gave a scientific underpinning to it also gave the proper and adequate concepts behind it and it gives us a great uh, kind of uh, satisfaction to see that in the leadership of uh, arun gayatri chachi ji and dr saxena and so many other people now this revolution has uh, almost engulfed all india and many other uh, countries outside and now uh, people are actually taking this message to every single soul and hopefully uh, the results of uh, this revolution that we are witnessing now would be visible in 10 20 30 years from now when the children being born with that kind of sanskars virtues and values would give birth to the revolution that we all have been waiting for long to see it happen so my pranam my best wishes to entire team for making this uh, wonderful effort and uh, hope that audience would enjoy uh, the wonderful talks given by all the speakers pranam